Pace. Hey. 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 Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? How have you guys been? <clears throat> I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Thank God. And I hope you guys are doing well too. Okay, my name is Chica for those of you who don't know me. And if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And please do not leave without subscribing because on this channel we have good stuff. Good quality stuff for you. And for my regular subscribers, thank you so much for being there. And don't think, okay, do not think. Of living okay we're here for the support we're here for the empowerment we're here for the good stuff the good vibes everything good that's what this channel is for so do not go anywhere anyways my name is chica for those of you who don't know me <clears throat> my name is chica for those of you who don't know me and today's video i'm gonna be doing or rather talking about four things okay nobody ever told you about being a mom let me speak British. being a mom mom i hope i got it a mom like four things nobody told you look at look at this one four things nobody told you about being a mom being a mother okay like these things nobody told me i had to figure out things that being a mother you figure out so many things yourself but let me just share these four things with you so you guys know that i'm a mom of one i have a baby boy brian right beside me here he actually just woke up Let's me filming and has scattered the whole place. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to share these things with you. And I hope you guys learn one or two from this. And, you know, whatever you know, if you're a mom, please share your own tips with us. We are welcome to listen. Okay? Like, you never know everything. Anyways, number one. Being a mom is a full-time job. And your employer, who is your baby, does not give a fuck, does not care. Okay, let me not use that. Does not care. Okay? You can be called to duty at any time. What am I trying to say? When I gave birth. Okay, fine. I knew the whole sleepless night stuff. Okay, I knew that. But the truth is, your baby would demand your attention. Uh, your baby will demand your attention at any time. And like I said, your employer, who's your baby, can call you at any time. Like, they don't care. Excuse me. Like I was saying, before I was really interrupted by this toddler of mine. Okay, by the way, he's one year, um, how many months? He's basically six, 17 months right now, going to um, 18 months. Anyway, your baby can call you at any time. They will just cry. Their own is cry, sleep, play. Okay? That is their own. So at any time, we can call you, you know, you just, you might be wanting, you might say, okay, let me just quickly do something. You've tried your best to put your baby to sleep and you're like, oh, baby asleep. Let me quickly go and do this. Let me quickly go and do that. But sometimes, the baby can just wake up. Like, your baby will not even sleep. Okay, there was this particular time I just put my baby to sleep and I was like, okay, let me just go and chill and relax. Just have a little time to myself. I say, I now went to go and get my, because I wanted to watch like videos on my phone, I think YouTube videos or something. I went to get my earpiece to, you know, come and balance and watch. As I just went into the room, I saw somebody that, in fact, he was just standing on the bed. I'm like, God, what is this? So, yeah, like a lot of things, they take up your time, attention. They are babies, they don't know anything. All they just want is you. They want your the time, they want your attention. Some babies are like, my baby likes. He's a gum body. That's the truth. He will just always be on top of you, jumping up and down and everything. So just try to be patient. I would say be patient. Okay? You need to have patience. Patience. Have patience with this kid. This is your time. It's not easy. Trust me. It's not easy. But you can get through it. Don't for any second say, Oh, I'm tired. Oh, it's okay to stay tired. You're tired. <laughs> But get as much help as you can if you if you have siblings around tell them to come and help you out if you have get a nanny if you need to okay don't feel like you need to be sad or you need to do everything yourself no you don't need to get as much help as you can okay okay 
So that's that. Then I'll move on to number three. Two things that I learned. Your baby will make you go crazy. Okay? A baby will do what a baby will do. Yeah, your baby will make you go crazy. Like, hey, Jesus. That's why I said, that's why I said before, you have to be patient. And when I mean patient, you have to be. As in, it's so bad that sometimes I want to just give Brian pass, post, go, pa, pa. As in, I want to just give him a knock on the head. I want to just, sometimes I want to just give him, you know, when, you know what they call backhand, backhand slap like this. But, at the end of the day, if you finish doing that, he'll just be, they will cry. Or he'll just be looking at you because he doesn't know what he's doing. So you have to be patient, okay, with this, with these little things. <laughs> you have to be patient, okay? Try to groom yourself. Me, I'm someone who I get angry like this. Oh, look at him. Just scattering everywhere. Oh, yeah, come. Why is your trouser? Oh. Guys, he just woke up. He just woke up from sleep. Like this is to eight in the morning. I've been feeling like since. Anyways, you have to be patient with this little option. <laughs> with this little thing, like so try to be patient and they will do what they will do. They will scatter. They will. So what you should do is instead take things away from like things that you know that they can break, breakable stuff, things mm. you don't want them to touch you, yeah, keep them all in like in my house now, my house is basically empty. Mm. My panel, my living room is empty because I've moved mm. so many things away. Even my DSTV, I don't know where it is at the moment because this one always you know, climb and climb on top. Do you know how much you bought that yet? Eh, 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 eh. No, 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 no. So even the center table in the house, we had to move it somewhere else, you know, just try to move everything away so that you don't end up breaking things and then you become so angry and stuff. So just try to have that patience, move everything away, anything that you don't want them to touch, move it away because they will do what they will do. No matter how you shout, go away from there, get out of there, don't touch this, they will still go back. If you want, like beat him, he will still go back, he will only cry and then go back here and do what a baby will do. So be patient, honey. Okay. Number three, your career might be affected. Hey, 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 hey. Your career might be affected. Why am I saying this? You may. Okay. So number three, like I said, I said your career might be affected. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, your career might be affected in such a way that um. Especially if you're doing a business, like maybe you're doing something that you're like your own employer, you're working for yourself, and like you should dedicate all that time to what you were doing. But now, right now, you're sharing your time, not just taking care of your baby, but you're equally married, so you're taking care of your family, your husband as well. So that time you used to have just to yourself, now you spread it amongst like two people right now. So it might be affected because you might not be as progressive as you used to be. So what I would advise is if you're working for yourself, try to, you know, get a nanny or get like an assistant, okay? So that you don't feel depressed or start feeling like, oh, why did I get married? Now I can't do this, now I can't do no my dear, there are a lot of women out there who are married with kids and are still making it. Okay? So it might just startle a little right now but trust me do not allow that to make you feel like oh you need to give up no do not baby do not keep pushing for what you want okay just try to plan everything to make a balance like for me it's not been easy too because right now filming this video i have to film at like i have to film at night that's when brian is sleeping because that's the only time like i'm be i'll be settled like he won't be around you know scratching all my stops at all you know but unfortunately for me, they brought the lights really late. So I think they brought like 3 a.m. I filmed, I filmed the previous video before this. So that's why I'm still here filming by this time. But yeah, try to, you know, plan yourself. Try to make things work. Talk with your husband, you know, get people to help you. And don't feel left out, okay? It might be affected, meaning it might just slow down. But you need to replan and make everything bounce back up, okay? And then the last thing I have for today for you guys is your baby is world, the world's most jealous lover. They want all your attention. Yeah. 
he wants all the attention especially ah! even now that brian is working you know he's moving around on his own and all that but they still want your attention <laughs> in every possible way so try to give them that attention and one thing i've learned from you know someone i think i heard this from Cici and me and you know other people too because she's a mom of two when you even have your second baby don't just push the first one aside try to still share the love i mean this is your first baby okay try to still share the love don't make them feel okay yes there's a new baby you need to shift no try to still share the love bring all of it together so yeah they need all the attention they want all the attention they always still want you to carry them they want you to do everything for them. they want you to hug them you know everything like even sometimes like me and my husband will be together maybe sitting down together or i try to hug my husband you just see Brian running from nowhere, like coming to push us. No, no, you shouldn't be together. Like, excuse me, that's my husband. How else did you come? Okay, I'm allowed to hold my husband. So, yeah, these are the things that I learned. The four things I learned from Bob. These are the four things that nobody's going to tell you about being a home. I mean, there are so many other things, but these are just things that I've noticed in my one year, in my 17 months of being a mother. And I said, let me share them with you. So if you're a mom and you still have stuff you want to share, share with us, please leave it in the comment section. This topic is not over. We can still continue in the comment section. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And yeah. I'll see you guys. No, 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 no. Hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for being here, giving me your time. Do not leave without subscribing if you have. Okay. Do not leave without subscribing. So, guys, thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, everything you need to do. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.